What is going on guys, Thunderbo here, and today I'm bringing you, oh why, that was weird, like that was really weird, anyway, so um, today I'm bringing you guys the 20th episode of the Pocket Edition Let's Play series, as a matter of fact, this recording is not live, I guess you could say, um, unfortunately, the same thing with episode uh, 20 happened with uh, episode 19. Um, basically, if you guys remember from episode 19, I had to do a voiceover because, unfortunately, the video file and the audio file kind of, like, corrupted and they didn't save together. So, the audio file wound up being completely destroyed and only the video was remaining. So, unfortunately, I have to do a voiceover of this video, but I'm going to try and make it sounding as natural as possible, starting now. So, um... Last episode what we did was we uh, ran the nether reactor, and if you remember, we got all that tons of stuff. So I'm going to have to go and sort all of that. So I'm going to put away all my gold blocks and gold bars, because I don't need those anymore. As well as the glowstone dust, I would consider that somewhat valuable. All that quartz, I'll toss in there. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else that I could put in that, so let's put away the wood and other materials that I don't need anymore. Um... Yeah, the nether rack I could put in here. And it looks like I'll put the bows in the food and tools. Uh, first I'll put the, the uh, saplings away, and the sugar cane, cacti, and all these mushrooms. Jeez, I can make like a lifetime supply of mushroom stew with all this. And uh, it looks like I got a potato. Never knew that. I'll put away those eggs. Uh, actually, you know what, I'll take some saplings. Yeah, I'll take the saplings. Um, and the seeds. Seeds will go in here as well. And that looks like it's it. So uh, let's put away the tools, mob loot. Yep, we we're almost done sorting. So, uh, wait, no, wrong box, wrong box. I feel like an idiot. Uh, cobblestone goes in here, and mob loot goes in here. And look at all this feathers and string we have. It's unfortunate we can't really use it all, but whatever. And in the miscellaneous, I'll just toss away the other stuff that I don't need. Uh, such as the bowls, books, doors. I don't even know why they give out doors in the other reactor. That's, like, stupid. Um, anything else that I could put away? Nope. And, yeah, I'm pretty much done. Uh, yeah, the raw chicken can go in there. And the weapons, the bows can go in the weapon box. And, yeah, the sapling I'll just put in here for now. As well as the crafting table, because I don't need that. So let's head on out. Now today, what I want to do before anything else is I want to finish up uh, connecting the roads. So uh, pretty much, if you know, I have like that gravel pathway connecting like everything in this entire world. Um, pretty much, what I want to do is I want to finish it up. So I have some gravel remaining, and pretty much, we're just gonna fix the road. So uh, oh, hey, the spider. And snipe shot. Ooh, that was killer. And wow, look at all that loot. Carrots and potatoes too. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the video and speed up the uh, road filling process just to make the video go a little quicker. Alrighty then, so now it looks like the road is completely finished, uh, it looks pretty nice, and you know it connects the tree farm to just about everything else in the village, uh, there's still that pig trapped in there, and wow, looks like a lot of mobs are falling down the, uh, super mob tower, so let's go, oh, jeez, that's a lot of loot, oh, hey, go away, so, yeah, what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna, uh, put away all the loot that I just picked up, because, you know, I don't want to carry it around with me. But first, we'll sleep the night just so mobs don't spawn all around us. Because, you know, that would be really, really obnoxious. So, let's go to the 
shed and sort away all my items. Not like I'm going to be using them anymore, but what the? Oh, that was weird, one of those lighting errors. So yeah, uh, I'm going to need a lot of cobblestone too, because what I plan on doing next is making a staircase that goes from the central village area up to the watchtower. It's going to be pretty cool once I completely build it. But yeah, let's just toss away all this mob loot, because I don't need it. Um, anything else, yeah, I'll put away the sand and the dirt, because that's unneeded. And the food, put away the food, potatoes, carrots. Um, once I put the world up and down, you guys can gladly take it. I mean, I don't really care. Uh, you guys can use it. But basically, I wanted this Let's Play to be from like 0.6.0 to like 0.7.6. But unfortunately, the 0.8 update came out, so I didn't get a chance to end it. So you guys are just going to be able to use all 0.8.0 items in here. I also made myself a shovel because I am going to be doing a lot of digging and will use the stone cutters for like the first time in the entire series. Make myself a ton of stone stairs and it looks like we'll be good. So I think this area straight ahead will be good for making the staircase. I'm going to want it to be a 2 by whatever and I'm not really going to be a stickler with um, having it completely stone as long as like the general area is filled with dirt and stairs just to make like a quicker access route that's all that I really care about so let's just dig away at all this and uh, while I'm digging and building the staircase I might as well start talking about um, season 2 of the let's play so basically the way season 2 is going to work is I am going to apply somewhat of a hardcore survival type rules um, it's not going to be hardcore survival no I'm extremely bad at that but um, what it is going to be is the only way of regenerating health is by eating cake. And that's the only way that I can regen health. I can't eat other food except cake. And not only that, but if I don't have full health, then I'm not going to be able to sleep. So it's going to be a pretty tough challenge, I would think. And yeah, let's just fill this area in. That looks good. And yeah, so far this looks pretty nice. Uh, we have a pretty decent working pathway up, and let's just continue building the path. So, aside from the ultra hardcore survival health and eating type rules, um, every five episodes I plan on doing a subscriber Q&A, because there's a lot of people who want to ask me questions, but I really don't have the time to answer them all. So, I figured it would be a good idea to talk about some of the questions you guys ask me in the video series. And every five episodes or so would be a decent idea to do some uh, Q&A-ing. So, I hope you guys will enjoy doing that. And, uh, aside from that, everything else will be just about the same. Um, aside from the fact I'm going to be playing on a ported world, um, it should make caving a lot more fun and a lot quicker. And not only that, but... Um, I still am going to be accepting build requests, I'm going to be building the stuff you guys suggest, and I hope to have a lot of fun in Season 2 of the Let's Play. So one thing that I actually forgot to do was fill in that staircase at the very top of the watchtower. Uh, if you guys remember, you can rewind like a minute or so if you want, but the staircase at the very top of the watchtower um, was missing some of the wood because I needed it and I forgot to replace it so we might as well just take some of the wood and we will uh, repair that real fast but other than that we're pretty much done with season one so far and uh, we'll just craft up some wood and head back on up so um before I finish the staircase and then dig the hole all the way down to bedrock fill it with TNT blow it up and be done with the series, with the season I should say, I just want to thank you all for watching, pretty much I've been doing this for roughly a year, I started in March, and now it's, well at the time of recording this, um, it was November, now it's March again, so it's literally been a year since I started filming season one, but uh, it's sad to see that it's coming to a conclusion, but we kind of need a refresh. And I think it will be really fun to play on a brand new world and a brand new update. So, with that being said, 
we're gonna wrap up season one right here and right now it, after crafting all the TNT um, we have two to spare and exactly 64 so that mob dropper definitely helped us otherwise we'd be on like episode 50 before we finished off the season so it's a pretty good thing that I wound up building that mob dropper so it definitely facilitated our collection of mob loot so before we go off and fill the hole with TNT, I'm just going to sort away some stuff that I don't need, such as all this cobblestone um, and other stuff. Uh, I'm going to put away some arrows because I don't need a full stack, and I'm probably going to collect a lot of loot from blowing up. And actually, wait a second, I can't believe I even forgot the TNT. It's still in the chest. Good job. Good job. Yep. So let's just take all this TNT. And we'll head on out. I don't think we need anything else. Oh, I forgot the flint and steel too. Good job. Good job. So let's look around this area for a nice spot. I planned on building it somewhere back here because it's pretty desolate. Um, oh, creeper. I'm going to shoot you. And headshot. And headshot. Oof, didn't kill him. And headshot. Boom. So... I think this here is a good spot, and I'll get back to you guys once I finish. So yeah, it wasn't long before I reached the very bottom, uh, it actually wasn't as long as I thought, but now I have to go all the way back up, so I'll see you guys at the top. Alrighty then, we're here, the very top. We are literally seconds away from ending Season 1, and I am really excited. Um, it's just a matter of time before I start the countdown to lighting the TNT, so let's get ready to count it down to the end in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Oh man, oh man, this is really cool. Cool guys, look at explosions. Been watch this. Oh my god, look at all that TNT. The lag is real. Look at all that TNT go. Holy jeez. That's pretty cool. Okay. The lag stopped. And ow. Oh my god, this hole is massive. What the? I hope I didn't blow up any diamonds. That would really suck if I did. But, um, yeah, oh my god, look at all this dirt, too. I mean, jeez. So, yeah, there's so much down here. Alright, I'm gonna have to be really careful making my way down because this hole is- Oh, God, that was pretty scary. No joke. Let's eat. Let's eat. And, fortunately, I have some apples with me. But, it's so dark down here. My God. Uh, that is still pretty far. And, ow. Ow. And, yeah, we still have a long way to go. Ooh, collect some more cobble and yeah we're almost at the bottom so this is this isn't too bad and it doesn't look like there's any diamonds here which is unfortunate and yep almost there oh hey some iron gimme 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 i need iron uh, let's place this dirt down and build myself a little bridge and let's collect this iron with our lovely diamond pickaxe oh uh, it looks like there's only two Oh well, that sucks. Anyway, it's right around here that I realized that I should just cut the film and uh, stop recording. And that's when the audio file corrupted again, unfortunately. So pretty much anything past here is rather useless. I just explored the bottom of the cavern that I created, found out that there were no diamonds, and decided to head back up. Uh, so you guys didn't really miss much after this. But anyway, I just want to thank you all for watching Season 1. Um, I am going to be doing a world tour, and then I will provide a download link in the video description for the world map download. But anyway, thank you all for watching Season 1, and we'll get underway with the, uh, with the world showcase right after this. So, thanks guys, and I'll see you in a little bit. 
Okay, guys, this is it. The last video, probably, that's going to be filmed on the Let's Play World version 1. So, um, when you first uh, download the map, install it onto your phone, tablet, etc., uh, when you spawn into the world, you're going to be standing in front of the science It's Thunderbow 98's MCP Let's Play World version 1. Enjoy. So, um, pretty much just giving myself credit to making the map. So if you ever make a video on it, just uh, be sure to link me in the description. Alright, so this is my house. It's rather nice. It's like a log cabin style home. Uh, nothing much to it. Get rid of this creeper, because creepers are annoying. There we go. So there's a lot of complex interconnecting roads, and over the course of the entire series, I built this village, which uh, if you just started watching, you probably don't know anything about it. So when you first leave my house, come over to here, go up these stairs, and you come over to here, here's the shed. Over here is where I store all of my materials, I have a bunch of different chests, like ones dedicated to cobblestone, food, regular blocks, or natural blocks I should say. Then specialty crafted blocks, armor, weapons, tools, etc. Over here's my valuables. So uh, leaving the uh, shed over here, we're going to go over in this direction, and we're going to see a windmill in the distance. This over here is my wheat farm that I built. Now, um, unfortunately, hey, hey, no, you're you're not going to trample my freaking crops. Loser. Trampled most of them. What the hell? Uh, well, I'm gonna have to fix that before I put this world up for download. But pretty much, this is the farm. Fully functional. Uh, really resourceful. Good source of food. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, it took a while to make, so replant whenever you take stuff from it. Keep over there. Whoops. So we're gonna come back over this direction, back towards the village. Now directly to the right side of my house, I have my chicken farm. And there's no eggs that were dropped yet, but that's the chicken farm. Next door, I have the prison cells. Uh, I meant to use these for luring hostile mobs, but then I remembered that hostile mobs despawn. And I never used it, so if you guys want to use this, for jailing bad players if you host this on a multiplayer world, then by all means go ahead. But right now this is more over for the fun of building it. So this is the jail cell. Over here I have four tree houses. These are literal tree houses, not houses built off of a tree. Um, I use a tree and then the leaves. Like so the tree Store, uh, sort of acts like one of the walls, and the leaves act like the roof. And I did that multiple times, and after the fourth one, it was just a super long, tedious process, and I pretty much gave up on making the tree So I made four of them, and they're pretty neat. Uh, I'd say it acts as a really small, temporary house. So those are all the uh, tree houses. Over here, we have the mob grinder. 3000, as I like to call it, because it has four different pipes. Uh, I meant to say the mo Super Mob Grinder 4000, because it has four different pipes of water, and the mobs fall into those pipes of water, and then they flow down the pipes, and then they hit the ground like this. Oh, gosh. So, that's the Super Mob Grinder 4000. Pretty cool. So, uh, that's pretty much the basic contents of the village. Coming over to the back, we have our tree farm, which was a huge necessity that we only built only a few episodes ago. Pretty unfortunate, but hey, it's a good source of wood, and at least you don't chop down all the trees in the village. So, uh, yep, this is the village, mob grinder, jail cell, chicken coop, shed, main house, wheat farm. Coming over to here, um, we have two different objects that I built. Uh, one 
of which is the watchtower. Which the watchtower, if you're getting ambushed by mobs, you can hide up in here. Then you can stand, and you can snipe mobs from a distance. Uh, I don't see any mobs, but if there were any, I'd demonstrate. For example, let's say there's a mob down by the uh, down by that tree. So we're gonna shoot that mob. Boom, we killed it. So, uh, you know what, I'm gonna demonstrate on that sheep, I'm sorry sheep. So yeah, you can very much ambush mobs from up here, and you get an entire look of the village. It's kinda small, but it looks pretty cool. But yeah, this is the watchtower. Coming down here, dropping over into the back, in the very secluded corner of the world we have the nether reactor. Uh, the reactor core is still in there, I didn't mine it out. And if you guys want to run the reactor again, I have some gold blocks in the chest in the shed. So you guys can go ahead and repower it if you want to run it again. So let's hop down here. And over here, embedded in this wall, I have my mine shaft. I'm not going to go down because it takes too long to go down, show off, and come back up. But it's pretty much a long network of tunnels that I have created, and it's pretty useful for mining. And yeah, I threw this sign in as a joke um, last download day, and I haven't removed it because I thought it was pretty funny. But, yep. So that's the mine. And last but not least, we have the Explosion Center. This is where I blew up the TNT last ep uh, this past episode. And that was pretty sick. So... That's all I've built in this world. There was definitely a lot more that I could have done, but um, I, there's only like a few other suggestions that you guys gave me, and they weren't that great, so I didn't bother building them. But pretty much, this is the end of season one. Season two will be starting up shortly, but uh, nonetheless, this is the entire thing. You know, we got our shed, house, chicken farm, Wheat farm, mine, explosion site, watchtower, nether reactor, mob dropper, small houses, and tree farm. So it's a pretty good village that we built. Can't wait for season two. But, um, yeah. So this is the end of episode 20. If you guys stayed around for the entire season one, I really appreciate it. And, um, thanks for watching. If you found this episode enjoyable, leave a like, leave a favorite, subscribe for more pocket edition content. If you want to download the map, there will be a link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.